All right, baby. Yeah. Time for some Jimi Hendrix and end of American accent. Uh, in this free video drum lesson from drumsaword.com, I want to teach you the first drum solo that occurs around 2 minutes 29 into the song, Manic Depression, drums by the great master himself, Mitch Mitchell. And the first thing to understand is the song, uh, the, eight, the eight bars, well, the entire song is in 3-4, so there are three counted beats to a bar. And of course, the solo is in 3-4 as well. So we're counting 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. Tempo's around 150 BPM, so the click is going by 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. And the drum solo is eight bars long, and we can take each bar at a time. So let's take a look at the first bar first. So before we take a look at what Mitch actually plays in the first bar, let me introduce you to a rudiment called the six stroke roll. This is actually what Mitch uses to play this first bar. It's a really, really popular drum lick. I love it to bits um, because the accents that fall in it fall in really interesting places and allow you to move your hands around toms and, different, and orchestrate it in, in interesting ways. As the name suggests, it's six notes long, so it fits really well into triplets, perfectly in fact. So it was made to be played through 16th note triplets. And Mitch played this lick a lot because it flows and so well, it sounds very nice, and you can orchestrate it, like I said earlier, in really interesting places. So you can start it with either your right or left hand, but if you're right-handed, then you want to start it with your right hand. And it's one single followed by, followed by two doubles and then a single at the end. Right, left, left, right, right, left. Right, left, left, right, right, left. And of course, when you loop it round, it sounds like this. Right, left, left, right, right, left, right, left, left, right, right, left, right, a bit slower. Right, left, left, right, right, left, right. Notice how it goes left, right when you loop it round. The next thing to do um, is to add some dynamics into that. And what you want to do is, is make the doubles nice and quiet and, allow, and the two single notes at the beginning and the end, the first and the sixth notes, loudly. So watch as my hands come up high for the loud notes while the doubles are played down low like this. Right, left, left, right, right, left, right, left, left, right, right, left, right, left, left, right, right. And the tempo is pretty darn fast, so we want to fit each of those rolls, each of those six notes, into each of those clicks. So really fast. One, two, three. Well, here's what Mitch does. He plays, we'll take out the bass drum foot for now. Beat one, we're just playing the first note of the six stroke roll on the high tom. And when we flow into beat two, the other accent is on um, the snare drum as well. So beat two starts on the snare drum and then the last note, the left hand is up on the high tom, which means when we flow into the beat three, the right hand moves up to the medium tom. So for the second beat we get one, two, three, four, five, six, one. And that there is beat three. So slowly, again, without the bass drum, the whole bar is. Two, three, and one, and two, and two, and two, and three. With the bass drum falling on beat one and two at the same time, of course, you can leave this bit out, but. It falls here or with, the, with the first note of beat one and then with the first note of beat two. And that's how, how it sort of flows. To get out of that bar, at the very end of beat three, we just play a pickup note on the last note of that triplet uh, four trip, oh, sorry, three trip LUT with a left hand single snare drum note falling into the second bar. So um, that bar, medium tempo again. You're feeling one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, a one, two, three, one, two, three, a one, two, three. Up to tempo, here we go. One, two, three, one, two, three. So for the second bar, we just simply play three crash cymbals on beats one, two, and three. One, two, three. And you can play right, left, right, or right, 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 whatever you want to do. One crash cymbal, two crash cymbals. And then the bar ends with that pickup note like in bar one on the third triplet note of beat three, 
play with the left hand so we get one, two, three, a one, two. You can get sort of swung. One and two and three and one, two, three. One, two, three and one. Now let's take a look at the third bar and we can see how that second bar flows into it. So bar three just simply contains three beats worth of eighth note triplets. And we can fit three eighth note triplets to every beat of the bar. So the tempo is this. One, two, three, 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 or counted. One triplet, two triplet, three triplet, one triplet, two triplet, three triplet, however you want to count it. But there's three evenly spaced notes per beat. And um, what Mitch plays is he plays what I like to refer to as Bonham triplets, because whenever I hear them played, I always think of John Bonham. Uh, and you've heard me talk about this lick many times before. It's simply right, left of the hands, and then bass drum foot, and you play all three notes smoothly. Right, left foot, right, left foot, right, left foot, right, left foot. One triplet, two triplet, three triplet. This sort of tempo. And all we've got to do is work out where the hands are being played. So for beat one, both hands on the snare drum. Beat two, right on the medium tom, snare drum, bass drum. And then beat three is floor tom, high tom, bass drum. Simply one triplet, two triplet, three triplets. So let me play for you bars two, three, and four at a slow tempo together. Sounds like this. One, two, three, and one triplet, two triplet, three triplet, one, two, three. Do it even slower. One, two, three, and one triplet, two triplet, three triplet, one, two, three, and. Bit fast now, one, two, three. That was a lot of tempo, wasn't it? So bar five is quite cool and interesting because we're moving into a straighter subdivision. In the previous part of the solo, we were dealing with six notes per beat or three notes per beat, 16 note triplets, eighth note triplets. Now Mitch goes into just straight eighth notes. So we're fitting two notes per beat. One and two and three and one and two and three and. So it's like a switching up of subdivisions, making it really interesting to the listener. Um, and all we gotta do is work out where those eighth notes are being played. So um, he plays snare drum on beat one with the bass drum. Right hand then moves up to the medium tom, then left hand to the high tom, and then we play right hand on the floor tom, and then again with the snare drum at the same time. So it's one and two and three. One and two and three. With the bass drum at the beginning, one and two and three. One and two and three. Like that. So in bar seven, we're playing 16th notes. Previously, we had six notes per beat, or three notes per beat, or two notes per beat. Now we're playing 16th notes, which is four notes per beat. One E ender, two E ender, three E ender. One E ender, two E ender, three E ender. So the tempo is this. Here we go. One E ender, two E ender, three E ender. One E ender, two E ender, three E ender. Not easy for someone who's a little bit tongue-tied. You'd have to count it a lot, of course. But you want to feel little, 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 four notes per beat. And what Mitch does is he plays one of his uh, favorite rudiments, one of his other favorite rudiments, uh, the paradiddle. Now, if you don't know what the paradiddle is, shame on you, you should know what the paradiddle is. If you don't, go check it out, because it's uh, one of these rudiments that you, you, you should know about. It's simply right, left, right, right, and then alternates on the other hand, left, right, left, left. You know this. Right, left, right, right, left, right, left, left. Right, left, right, right, left, right, left, left. And what you can do with it once you've sort of mastered the basics is you can orchestrate the hands around the toms. This is what Mitch does here. So for beat one, he plays the first note on the high tom, right, left, right, right, other notes on the snare drum. And then beat two, start on the snare drum, left, right, left, left. The right hand moves to the floor tom for the E of two, left, right, left, left, which flows also into the next note on beat three with the right hand, which is the floor tom as well. Left, right, left, right, right. Two E and a three. 2 E and a 3. So slowly up to beat 3. 1 E and a 2 E and a 3. 1 E and a 2 E and a 3. Make those tom notes um, accented louder. And keep the snare drum notes quiet if you can. Bass and forwards with the first note on the high tom. And 
And that's the end of it. So before we um, hear it again, play it up to speed, let me now play for you um, all the bars played at a slow tempo. One, two, three. So as always, you can download the free PDF drum chart for this lesson from my website. There's a link beneath this video where you'll be taken to the uh, blog entry where you can print out the uh, PDF drum chart for this whole solo. While you're there, you might also want to check out some of the other free lessons I offer on my website. There's hundreds there to choose from, plus some of the video drum packs which you can purchase and then download, or my Drum Masters video song pack, which is a six DVD box set which I send to you through the post containing all of my best videos, charts, eBooks, etc., etc. Join me on Facebook, please. So you can find me just by typing Drums of Words into Facebook, and uh, you can email me if you've got any questions as well. RobertDrumsOfWords.com. Always happy to help. Until next time. Enjoy this solo and happy drumming to you.